Hi guys, this is Pika from uh, Road to D2 FTC team, and today we're gonna te not teach you, show you how to build uh, an R2D2 in uh, SolidWorks subs for kids. I'm logged in right now. And, uh, here are some public projects that other um, other guys have done, and uh, here is the um, plus button for apps. Here is where we can uh, do different things. Today we're just gonna use uh, shape it and style it, but you can also try out make it, capture it, and print it, which are also really awesome um, and useful uh, things uh, you can do with this app. And um, yeah, let's um, get going. So um, we, we're here in this menu we, in which we can uh, look uh, look at shapes like um, uh, primitive shapes, um, my projects, um, and some other public projects we can, which can which we can use. But um, for now, we're not gonna look at these. We're gonna just uh, use the simple option of add material, which just places uh, places a blob. <laughs> Uh, kind of a spherical um, object, and uh, uh, you've seen that you've seen that uh, we have more options to do now. We can either remove the material or select the body. Select uh, select body is a really important feature, which will come uh, where, which will become helpful later on. But for now, we're just gonna. Um, so let me show you how remove material works. So you just hover over the um, material and just click on it, and it's gone. Let's add back the, that material and uh, we're just gonna try doing the base of the R2D2 for now. So we're gonna have a 4x4 four four base, like 4 blobs by 4 blobs. And uh, let's just do this uh, So I know R2D2 usually doesn't um, have a platform to stand on. He has like these little wheels, but uh, for the sake of, um, of simplicity and being able to I don't know play 3d print it and place it somewhere if you if you really feel like you want to show it off then we're just gonna make it um, stable so you can put it on your table or whatever and uh, we've gone also one up so um, we've just um, we've add clicked that material and we've uh, selected a square also, there are different options when you try to do this. You can uh, opt for either um, having it become one with the already existing blob or a separate blob. I mean, for now, I'm just gonna use the one which it becomes one with because that's what we want to achieve. So we're going back to um, the four by four phase and um, yeah, it's gonna be quite simple. Uh, as you can see, it's, um, it's starting to take shape, <laughs> get it, shape it, uh, and uh, we're just gonna go up about five or six blobs, we'll see how the height, um, how high uh, we need to get it. I think the, that 7 is the right number because mm, we kind of needed to have some body mm, too. Okay, so as you can see, here are two different blobs. We actually do not want that. We want it to, um, to become one. And that's why we are careful at uh, this. You see? Wait, let, let me show you. Um, when you when the menu makes both of the surfaces yellow you can uh, click it and it uh, it i don't know how to say it fuses that's probably the right term um and it fuses now we're just gonna work on the arms on the side of the r2d2 which uh, which is gonna be i don't know quite simple and similar so we're just gonna 
go a little bit down be careful to not reach the bottom oh and uh, you see how I'm um, rotating the whole thing uh, I'm using the mouse wheel I'm uh, clicking on the mouse wheel and uh, moving my cursor but if you wanted to move it in some other way you can just um, press spacebar and select uh, one of the POVs here which is also quite uh, nice <laughs> So we're just gonna keep going down until we reach the, um, the state in which so we need to go one more down so we're trying we're trying to make like it stable so it won't tip over or um, feel imbalanced when you put it on a table and now we just go um, right and left one and uh, that's it let's see it from the side yeah so it's, it looks good for now, I mean, the best as it can look, and uh, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with the results for now. So let's work on the other arm really quickly, because it's the same process and we don't want uh, this to become boring, do we? So this is how um, our uh, R2D2 base looks like. Uh, now we can uh, start um, we can start uh, making its head so um, the SolidWorks apps for kids has a cool feature called um, uh, sharpen so let's uh, say I place this little blob right here I can select it with my cursor or I can just now I need to ring to get rid of the add material option and the select it and then I have the clone option which just clones the, these bobs blobs we can have the hide option which obviously hides it from um, hides this and uh, we have uh, the delete option which deletes the whole the whole blobs but we're gonna focus on the sharpen for now uh, we're, we're gonna click on this and uh, as you can see it turns it into squares because these blobs are actually squares but round <laughs> okay so we're just gonna prepare a little pedestal for the R2D2 head and then we're just gonna move over to shapes in which we have either a box, a cone, a cylinder, a torus, a globe or a ball. For now we're gonna use the ball okay so it moves there uh, we don't want it there we want it here so we're just gonna use these arrows to move it around a bit and um, so, so we're, we're, we can use the select body option here to make it move around more easily and we've got it up to the necessary height yeah it's almost perfect we need to make sure that it's centered because if it's not centered then it won't look as nice well, right, let's use the perspective Perfect. Now we can just move this a bit here, move this a bit here, and we're almost done. Now we just need to. Um, uh, so we're gonna need to um, hide this body for now because we can't um, use the arrows without hiding it. So we're just gonna select it and hide it. Now we're just gonna um, select this body and um, try and make it a little bigger. And now let's uh, let's see let's show the rest of the body. Okay, so it actually looks um, okay for now. We're not gonna uh, we're gonna keep hiding it. We're gonna keep it hidden. Wait, let me just uh, yeah. Now we can just work with this one. We're gonna make it uh, so we're gonna move it a bit up so we can uh, see how it looks like. Now we're just gonna select the show and click on this and uh, now we can actually see how this whole thing looks like it looks nice I, th I think okay so um, let's just um, oh oops I clicked this from by accident so we're just gonna select this body and um, we're gonna see we're gonna see how it looks like if we drag it down so it looks fine I mean 
it's not perfection, but it's not that bad either. So I think that's uh, what we're gonna work with for now. It's, in my opinion, it looks kind of cool. Okay, so um, I think we're done with the shape it part for now because I'm actually okay with uh, how it looks like now. So we're just gonna um, click uh, here on uh, the SolidWorks apps for kids auto saves your files, so you don't need to worry about um, the app crashing or something happening to your computer. Uh, it's saved as long as you. Um, as long as you got this far, nothing bad's gonna happen. So we can click here on my profile, and um, as you can see, I have two options: either go back to shape it, or um, or we can use uh, the style it option, which what which is what we're gonna do. So um, as you can see, the style it option has loads more loads more impressive stuff. So uh, we're just gonna. Um, um, click off the mesh because we don't want to see it now and um, as you can see the bucket which it's used to color uh, the draw which you can just mess around with I mean wait, let me, wait how big do I have to so we can just draw something here um, stickers which are also quite cool and we're gonna use them and uh, the scene, which is uh, what we're gonna do now. We're gonna select uh, the spooky because it's Halloween. Um, now we're just gonna click the bucket because we're trying to make our 2D2, and we're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna use the white, um, the white color, and uh, wait, white well, isn't the color, and and I don't know it looks much better now. So. Um, we're just gonna use some blue to add some details on the edges. Really quick. And uh, yeah, we can keep doing this. And also here. Just pop that. Look how nice this looks. We're gonna put a black square here. So it looks like R2D2. And we can put, um, not a black, but a blue square here. And now we're gonna use the sticker. Wait, let's turn on the mesh. So we can see which square is which. So let's um, find the um, eye sticker, not this one. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, look at this. This looks beautiful. Now, if you want to do to add more, you're free to. I'm not gonna add more. You can also use this as, as a belt for the tools, and you can give R2D to some tools. Like, I'm gonna give him a hammer real quick. Right, let's change the width of the brush. Maybe even a little bit bigger. I think brown would be the better color here. Oh, I'm, I guess we've made a mistake. Okay, so back to brown and we made the handle of the hammer and now we make the hammer itself. Why didn't it work? Something didn't work for some reason. Let me see. So let's make it even bigger. What if we click off now? Yeah, it's okay. I guess it was just a little bug. Let's not mind that too much. So we're gonna make this the handle, we're gonna make it brown. And then the hammer, we're gonna make it dark as the night. <laughs> and yeah, you can also add branches or I don't know what. What would you prefer? So now we can also um, look at R2D2 from different angles. We can look at him from above. We can look at him from this perspective, upside down. <laughs> We can look at him from this angle, and even this, so yeah, 
uh, make sure if you've enjoyed this video to hit like and subscribe maybe ring the bell and um, we'll see you later